Abby Chin here with Slam Hauser. May I call you that? Sure, yeah, I'll take that. Okay, I'm kidding. I don't have any dunk questions right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Ahead of the Laker game, as someone who grew up loving basketball, what is it like to be a part of this rivalry? Yeah, you know, there's such a rich history. Um, you know, you see all the shows and documentaries about the bird magic era and, you know, the hatred between the Celtic and Laker fans. So being a part of it is pretty cool. Uh, obviously, we got to play on Christmas this year against them, which was pretty special. And we got a win and, you know, looking forward to playing tonight and hopefully getting a win again. Yeah. Are you expecting a different level of urgency from them because of that? Yeah, probably. Uh, you know, when you beat a team, uh, at their place, you know, I think that leaves a sour taste, and I think they're going to come out ready to play tonight, and we got to be ready for it. Do you remember what happened the last time the Lakers were here? Yeah, we went into overtime, right? And yes. won. It was a crazy game. It was a crazy game. At the end of regulation, LeBron was really upset about a no call, and Pat Beverly brought a camera out on the floor. So my question to you is, whose theatrics do you enjoy more, LeBron or Luke Cornett? Luke Cornett, hands down. No, no doubt. Yeah. How do you sit next to him on the bench and keep a straight face? Uh, he keeps it pretty civil for the most part. Um, he picks and chooses the right times to act out, and it's usually appropriate. So, it's he he under, you know he picks his places wisely. I'll, I'll just give him that. Yeah. What does that do for the rest of the team? He just brings energy, um, and you know to have a guy like that who's always you know in a good mood and sees the brighter sides of you know every situation it's it's a it's a good locker room presence to have and obviously he's been around seen a lot so he's got a lot of experience as well so i think guys can lean on him for certain things and advice too our colleague chris forgeberg has an article about the bench brigade out today how much confidence does that group have and, and how far do you feel like you guys have come from the beginning of the season yeah I, you know i think at the beginning of the season, it was a little bit of a feeling out process, kind of figure out how where we fit into, you know, the team in the rotation if we're playing. Um, if we're not playing, you know, how can we help the team in the best way possible? And I think we've all tried to star on our roles to the best of our ability. And, and that starts, you know, every day in the gym. You know, we're our stay ready group, we call it. You know, we're in the gym a little bit earlier, usually getting shots up, getting work in. And um, so when our number is called, we're ready to go. How much for you has it helped to have that defined role and to know when you're going to go in, when you're coming out, and who you'll be playing with? Yeah, um, it's cool. I mean, you have to earn that. And I think, you know, I've put in a lot of work the last two and a half years now. Um, and I do think I've earned, you know, what I've gotten. And I think, you know, to get more, you have to keep working. So um, definitely not satisfied where I'm at, but I, it's cool to be a part of it, for sure. And you and I have talked about the three-point contest, but... For everyone, how cool would that be? And is that something that <laughs> is now on your radar for during NBA All-Star Week? Yeah, I mean, it would be cool for sure. I'm not really, like, hanging my head over it. Um, if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, I got nothing special planned for All-Star break. Just going to go home and see family and friends. So if I don't end up going, I get to spend more time with my family, which I love. But if I do get to go, it would be pretty, be pretty cool to be a part of, yeah. So it's Wisconsin or Indiana. It's yeah. really, it's going to be cold it's a quick anywhere drive. you go. It's a quick That's drive, true. yeah. <laughs> Happy to make it, no problem. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> have you participated in many three-point contests? I have done one. Uh, my senior year of high school, a national three-point contest. Ooh, just, how'd you do? I didn't win. I think I might have took third. So I did all right, yeah. It's different, though. Like, where's your sweet spot? Do you already have planned where you'd put your money balls? <laughs> no, I would have to, I would have to practice, I think. Um, the yeah, stamina it, it takes, it, it's too, different. right? It's different. You know, it's different. You have to shoot for speed, but also don't, you know, shoot too fast to get out of rhythm. So I think a couple of rounds here at the hour back would be great to get ready for that. I know. We'd love to see it. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> um, big picture, you guys, 11 and 6 in an epic January. It feels like January goes on forever. But what do you like best about the way you guys are playing right now? Yeah, um, you know, we've won... In a, in a few different ways this month, which has been good. Um, obviously, when the playoffs comes come around, you're going to have to find different ways to win. Uh, but I think this month, uh, you know, I think we have a lot of things we can clean up as well on both ends of the floor, you know, execution-wise, personnel-wise, and um, really just fine-tuning things, I would say. And I think that will get us to the next level. For tonight, what are going to be the keys against the Lakers? 
I think just high energy and effort, you know, rebound the basketball and kind of knowing personnel uh, and, you know, playing to our strengths on offense, which I think we do a pretty good job of for the most part, but continuing to build off that. If you don't know LeBron by now, I think <laughs> we're all in a little bit of trouble. I'm teasing you, Sam. Yeah, Thank you right. so much. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Presented by your New England Ford dealers. Built for America. Built Ford Proud.